All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. So this model that we're gonna be touring today is the Tiburon. Uh, this one right here is 2,532 square feet. Property features, four to five bedrooms, three and a half baths, two car garage. The starting price is $385,490. The community that we are in today is Ravina at Sky Canyon. Take a look at this. This is a Beezer home product. This is a gated community. What you're gonna notice on this one, all the garages are in the back. Front of the home, you're gonna have a bunch of easements like this, parks for the kids. You have a total of five different models to choose from, 120 different lots. 50% of them have been sold. You do have HOAs and also the mass plan community. HOAs are about uh, master plan, I'm sorry, master plan communities is $48, HOA is about $38. Then you have the SIDS and LIDS, a uh, monthly about $40. Okay, now let's go inside, let's take a look. Now, you've probably already seen the other two models, and you guys already know that this is my first time doing a Beezer Tour product. All right. According to the sales agent, the incentives is 1% if you use the preferred lender. Also, if you do the conversion to add the extra um, bedroom, I think it was the extra bedroom, now you can bump this thing up to 2,633 square feet. The kitchen, you have two configurations that you can do. Now let's take a look at the configurations. I'm gonna show you this right here do a snapshot. So this configuration that you see right here is the second one. I do kind of like this, really nice and open. You got your Blanca sink under mounted and it looks like you have your Petrofenia with a beautiful backsplash. And look at the tile here. These are 18 by 48 inches on the tile. I know it looks a little bit small. Now, one thing, I talked about this. Doors coming in this way, the home is going this way. Do you run the tile this way, right? Or do you run it this way? Some designers always say, run it the same direction as the island. That's not the case here. And some people say run it the same flow of the house. I always say run it the same flow of the house. Makes it look a lot bigger for some reason. It just flows a lot better. You got the uh, three pendant lighting, which is I think it's a little bit uh, too small for this island. I think two is enough. You got the Whirlpool appliances. It looks like you do have the upgrade on the uh, double stack here on the oven. Wow, look at this 48 inch cook countertop. I do love that. Man, I hate when they do the 36 inches. Like, it's just way too small. Now, let's see. With this builder, do they exhaust this out? Yes, they do. 36 inches on the cabinets here. Okay. Now, let's see what type of cabinets they have. Okay. As you can see, some staples. But they have an undermounted glide here. And you can do soft closing cabinets, too, as well. You can buy the um, products on Amazon. Let's see here. All right. So, have a nice pantry. Orange peel texture, it looks like. You have the standard six panel door, eight six on it. Coat closet. And standard handles and doorknobs. All right, let's come out to the uh, the courtyard here. Definitely did a couple figurations on the courtyard. They did the little water feature here. You had the concrete all the way to the back, landscaping. And they added this little fire pit here. And you know this is an upgrade right here for the cable and all that stuff. So let's go back inside. Now this is a three-story home too as well. Let's take a look at this little loft area. Definitely love the loft area. I mean not the loft area, I'm the living room area. 
I'm tripping. We did a lot of videos today. A lot of videos. Okay, coming into the two car garage. Okay, so this one's a little bit bigger now. The garage here is going to be a total of 20 feet, uh, 23 feet deep. You're about a foot, uh, four feet, four and a half feet right here. So you can definitely have a lot of storage right here. And I do like that. So it's perfect. Now it looks like the garage is not textured or painted. I don't know why builders don't do that. Texture and paint it. I mean, some builders will and some builders won't. But that's just another way just to cut costs, right? Things that you probably just won't be aware of. Now let's come upstairs here. As we come upstairs, you have about five steps. You come to a landing. Banks left. And you have another like six stairs. You come to a landing. Then you have three stairs. Now we have a loft. And I believe this could have been an option, another bedroom. But let's go directly into the master here. The master is very large. Okay. Large master for sure. King size bed. This room is probably 18 by 15. Let's take a look at the walk-in closet. Pretty decent size on the walk-in closet. Now, time to come into the master. Oh, look at this tub. Gorgeous. 36 on the vanity. Nice countertops again, undermounted sink. Oh, that's like a, a lot of wasted space. I do like the windows here. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. Let me see here. Oh, look at that. You can take a dump and uh, look at some mountains there. You got uh, two configurations that you can pick and choose from. You go ahead and pause it if you want. Four inches on the backsplash. Here's your linen closet. Again, six panel door. Now, let's take a look at this. I love this tub. Look how huge this tub is. You can fit two people in here. You got that Petrofenia. And on the shower here, you have a shower pan, fiberglass, and then full Petrofenia, and the soap uh, shelves there. Now, let's come down this way. What do we got? All right, let's take a walk around this little loft area. I'm gonna come on this side. Kind of give you a better look. Look at that, I love that open stair rail right here. Instead of that pony wall, you know that's definitely an upgrade. Now let's go down here. We have linen closet, laundry room. Whirlpool appliances, there's no shelves here. And I love the fact that there's windows that brings in some light. So it looks like you could probably add the sink here. Now I'm not too familiar with this builder. I've never done a deal with this builder. I've never des had the desire to do a walkthrough. But now, I do, so that's why we're doing a full review here. You got 36 inches, no, 30 on the, um, what do you call, the vanity. Then your tub shower combo. Now this tub here feels a little bit low, but I love the fact that it is that one piece. All right, coming into, not too sure what bedroom. Bedroom three, four, I can't even, I don't even know. Eight foot ceilings on the uh, second floor here. 
There's a third floor I can't wait to take you guys to. Get the walk-in closet. All right, let's see here. You got a queen-size bed. Okay. Two lights, ceiling fans. Yeah, I'm going to show you the front of the neighborhood here. As you can see, it's a gated neighborhood. On the other side of that road right there, that's Providence. Mass Plan Community. So you have two mass plan communities right next to each other. All right, now let's go upstairs to the third floor, the cream of the crop. Okay, so we're going to go upstairs and take a look at this. As we come upstairs, you come right into a loft, and you have beautiful vinyl flooring. Vinyl and laminate has been stepping up their game. Basically, it's all waterproof. Okay, but you got to make sure it's waterproof. Now, what I like about this third floor is if you have an older kid, they can live up here, complete privacy. Because look, you have full bedroom, all right? Well, do they, do they even make a half a bedroom? I don't know. So why the hell would I say a full bedroom? Take a look at these views. Gorgeous. That's what I love about the northwest Las Vegas Valley. You're elevated a lot higher. Third floor, eight foot ceilings. Well, I mean, you can kind of like tell the quality of this. Let me know in the comments below. You got a thermostat here. Let me know what you guys think right now as far as like the pricing wise, what you get for your money. Is it worth it? I mean, take a look at this. I mean, you just got like views like from almost every angle. I'm going to take you guys out to the balcony here. This balcony, this door right here is only like a six foot height. Ooh, la la la. Ooh, this is kind of scary. But look at this strip. But you're gonna have homes in front of her. If it's all three story, then you're gonna lose this view. But if you're on that side, that's gonna be perfect. But what sucks is it's not going to be because the garage is on this back side, and the balcony's gonna be on this back side. All right. We'll come on over here so that way you can see the whole community. I mean, look at this. You got an easement right there, walking path. You're probably good 30 minutes from the strip, depending where on the strip. Okay. Now let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. If you guys have not had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm not too sure what you guys are waiting for, but now's the time to do it. Reason why you want to hit that subscribe button because it just helps us out. And also hit that notification button too as well. The reason why you wanna hit that notification button so that way you're updated with new properties every single day. As soon as it hits the market, you wanna be the first to get it. That's right. But most importantly, what I really want you guys to do is go to the Instagram. I'm trying to grow that uh, Instagram following. I do appreciate each and every one of you. We just hit about 190,000 subscribers. That's right. That's because of each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and smash that like button. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Shug. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day.